so hey everybody, my name is Josh Matacor. I'm a YouTuber and the Leveled Cybersecurity course instructor. And we have Kyle here who went through the course recently, graduated and got a job. So thank you so much for coming on here. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. Cool. Do you want to do like a brief introduction of yourself and maybe talk about um, like why you decided to sign up for it and maybe what you're doing before uh, you got into IT? Yeah, of course. Um, so before I got this position, I got through the course. Um, I was working at Home Depot for about three and a half years as a service desk lead. So it's kind of like a supervisor position um, for order, order fulfillment. And then before that, I did like work in the lumber department and hardware. So I was kind of a flexible associate. Mm. Um, and on the side, I was going to college. So that's what I was doing while I was in college. And then I did that for about like six, seven months after I graduated this past December. And when I got my degree, I was like, okay, it's time to like get a job. And like everywhere I was applying to, there were like basically saying you needed a verification and like something. And so I was like, oh, okay, cool. And so then I went for Security Plus because that's like the big the big one I was hearing about. Mm. And so I studied for that for like maybe like a month and a half because I was working full time. So I like just do what I could after like before after my shift. I just study what I could mm. and take notes and all that. And so then once I got that, I tried applying for a few more jobs. And I think I got like maybe one interview. And so I knew I was kind of like missing something. Like I didn't know if it was like my resume or if it was like work-related experience. And so then I just kind of stumbled upon like one of your, I think, IT interview videos. Uh, and I was watching that and then I was like, and then I was, like, saw that, I was like, man, like that was pretty cool. And so then I like kind of like dig deeper into your actual channel, like watching other videos. And then I went to the actual course and then I saw you made like an announcement about making a cybersecurity course. And I was like, holy crap, like, <laughs> like this is what I've been needing, you know? And so, so like as soon as it came out, uh, I like just bought it and just dove into it and did all the steps because like literally like the list, you know. Mm. And um, once I did all that, I just told myself, I'm like, all right, like I'm gonna keep applying and I'm not stopping until I get something, you know. Mm. And sure enough, like here I am. So it's awesome. Cool. Uh, how long did it take you to like um, from when you first bought the course to when you actually ended up like landing your job? Do you remember about like how long that that took? So I got the course mid April and then I finished it like just like the labs. I finished all the labs like mid May. So that took like a month. Okay. And then I already had like I already had a resume from like previous attempts of getting jobs. So I had like kind of a template. So I just translated what I got to the template you provided through oh. your course. Okay. And so that was pretty quick and then I already had a link in, so I kinda of touched that up a little bit. Mm. And then I made a zip recruiter and a deed profile like you recommended and that took like a couple minutes so it wasn't a big deal <laughs> mm -hmm. um and then the, the biggest portion for me was the portfolio because i didn't have a portfolio beforehand mm -hmm. and so that was like i think that's what really took me from not having a job to getting a job was that portfolio gotcha. and um so that took so like this you know cleaning out my resumes and doing the portfolio took like maybe a week and so all in all probably a little over a month um of doing all that and then as far as job hunting went mm -hmm. i was pushing out like 10 applications a day oh, for good. the first week mm -hmm. yeah because like i was i was serious about <laughs> getting out like where i was at because it was just so frustrating and tiring like i was like i was getting burnt out from my my work mm -hmm. and i was just ready to like make that career transition for myself and so it's just kind of the matter of fact of like how much do I want it, you know? Yeah. And so I was pushing like 10 applications a day. And then it quickly got to the point where I was just like, oh, like I really don't have that many applications I can apply for, like realistically, you know? Mm -hmm. And so thankfully, I think like it took like maybe two weeks as far <laughs> as just applying to jobs. Mm -hmm. Cause, and then once I, once I got that one interview, cause I only got like two interviews mm -hmm. out of all those. Like and two one of the two company? is the, oh sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. okay, okay yeah and then one of the two is the one i got okay wow yeah wow that's amazing yeah, yeah i was gonna ask like uh do you remember how many interviews you had but two okay yeah just two yeah cool cool and then um and we kind of talked about this a little bit before but um you actually you moved right to uh, accept one of your positions can you talk about like i guess how far you had to go and like maybe the experience and stuff um yeah so I, before I lived where I am now, I lived in Huntsville, Texas, mm -hmm. uh, which is like an hour north of Houston. Mm -hmm. 
And so then as far as where I moved to, I moved like another three hours north. So, so now I'm like a little bit above Dallas. And so like a three hour difference. And so when I actually did my job interview that day, um, I told him, I was just like, I was like, yeah, like I'll come up there to interview. And they were like, really? And I was like, yeah, like I'll seriously drive up three hours to go to this job interview. <laughs> and that, that was honestly like, I think that was one of the biggest things they really liked mm -hmm. because like, um, like as soon as I showed up, they asked me that and I told them three hours. And that was like the first thing I wrote down before we even started the interview, they wrote that down. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they wrote, but they wrote something <laughs> down. I would assume it was that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's like a good hours. indicator of like how I guess serious you are, you know? Um, yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, I want to commend you for doing that. Cause I, I talk to people about this Thank a you. lot. Um, yeah, seriously, good job. Um, because the more you expand your geographic region, it really like can increase the speed at which you can get a job. Yeah. And yeah, if, you, for sure. if you go up there and you start working and you work for like six months, um, you know, technically you, you'll have that like real six months of experience and then you can pretty much like do whatever you want like after that, if you want to go back yeah. home or go somewhere else. So right. it's kind of a sacrifice, but like good job doing that. Cause I, I think it like, yeah. you know, it help, it's going to help in the end. Yeah. Yeah, for me, like, I knew I wanted to stay in Texas because, like, last summer I moved out of state and, like, that was just miserable. And I ended up having to move back to Texas where I'm from. So it was just like, okay, like, if I'm moving back to Texas, like, I'm, like, I'm staying put in Texas. I'm not going to try to venture out outside again. Mm -hmm. And I knew I had to move out of my current town regardless because, like, where I was in was, like, a very, very small, like, condensed college town with, like, not really a lot of technology opportunities. Mm -hmm. So like um, I knew I had to go to like to a major city like Houston or San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, like one of those four like metroplexes I was going to have to like, you know, venture out to. So, yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, it good worked job. out. Cool. Cool. Thank you. And then for, for that job, um, can you talk about like what your job title is and if you had to negotiate your salary and like maybe like a range of what you ended up getting? Yeah. Um, so it's funny, actually, when I went there for interview, the job title I interviewed for was called like IT specialist mm -hmm. or like IT support specialist is what they called it. Mm -hmm. And basically it's kind of like help desk, but since I'm not saying that this town is a small, a small town, but it's definitely bigger than where I came from. Um, their IT actually goes to their clients like face to face oh. instead of like over the phone and like you have to wait, you know, like they go in person. Mm -hmm. And so that was going to be like one of my main responsibilities. But like, I think like within like 15 minutes of the interview, they were asking me technical questions and like the guy kept reiterating. He was just like, Hey, like I'm going to ask you questions. That's like not in the job description just to kind of see if we can maybe put you somewhere else. Okay. Like if that's okay. okay. And I was like, yeah, like of course. <laughs> and uh, so, so he asked me like 10, 12 questions and they left and came back. And this was like after a couple of different people I talked to. And um, he was like, yeah, like we want to offer you the position of a junior system admin. Oh, and we're going nice. to fast track you <laughs> training to be a system admin. Nice. And I was like, I was like done. <laughs> I was Damn. like, that's insane. Yeah. It was, it was pretty crazy. Like, honestly, I don't know what answer I gave to make them make that decision. But I was very happy that they came back with that. And congrats. That's, that's uh, awesome yeah. actually. Yeah, and as far as negotiating, um, I didn't have to negotiate at all um, because, like I said, like I drove three hours for this interview, mm -hmm. and so they kept saying, like, they're like, dude, like if you have time, like, could you stay a little longer? I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> I, I, like I don't want to drive back. Like, keep me here as long as you need to. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> so the guy, the the hiring manager that I was talking to the most, he stopped me like the final time, and that's the guy who told me about the title they were offering me. And then he was like, he's like, did you talk to salary about, you know, with so-and-so? And I was like, yeah, but that was for like the different role mm -hmm. that I interviewed for. So I don't know if this, if this role be a little different salary. And uh, he was like, yeah, it'd be a little bit bigger. Um, <laughs> he was like, they'll probably, he was like, they'll probably offer you 55, but if you counter offer 60, he'll probably just give you 60. Oh, I was nice. like, really? And he was like, yeah. And so when I got that offer letter, he just outright gave me the 60. Oh, and man. so like, I didn't have to like, you know, argue whatever. And this is like my first like technology job. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like, I was like, I just want to get my foot in and like, just I'd rather learn than like, you know, make 
the two three grand more bigger salary you know yeah so i was just like i was like i'll take like yeah i was like i'll just take the 60 you know and like get some knowledge under my belt and i can call my salary like later down the line you know yeah yeah. so i just immediately took that 60 and ran with it that's that's pretty good um is that like a yeah a big difference compared to your last job like a decent a decent amount my last job i was making 37. okay oh wow dang it's like almost yeah that's a decent jump pretty close (laughs) yeah pretty close to like twice (laughs) that that's dope yeah congrats congrats on that yeah it's insane damn and that that makes me um want to ask so you like you went through the the cyber course and then you got security plus you said um so i got my bachelor's degree from like utsa because i was like already i was like already practically done with it Mm -hmm. and so i finished that up um then i graduated back in december and then once i graduated i took like a month off to myself Mm -hmm. because i was like doing college for like five and a half years so i was just like just give me a month to myself to like chill and then uh, after that month i started studying for security plus and i took that test and I passed it. And then after that, I think I took like maybe a like two to weeks to another month break mm-hmm. from all that studying and working full time. And then after that, then I, I did your course. Gotcha. Did you do anything yeah. else like um, outside of my course in Security Plus to that like helped you with the interview that you might recommend? Um, other, other I did. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend. And we were talking about this a lot in the Discord chat, the Google cybersecurity okay, okay. verification. Yeah. That was actually like really it was really good like honestly like that's basically the layout that i self-taught myself for Mm. security plus because like if you do it through course if it's like your first time you do like that for one week free trial and like when i saw like all the material i was just like there's no way you get this done in a week no and then like and then like once i started like actually reading it and watching video i was like wait like i know this like let's just move on like skip this like i know this like let's just take the quiz and then i burnt it out in like basically a week Nice. And so it was like a nice refresher, but there's a few things that like I didn't self taught myself through my security plus studying. And so it was cool, like doing some stuff that like I hadn't touched yet, mm-hmm. but it was very manageable to get that under a week while working full time also. So nice. it's kind of balancing that out. Nice. And then I did like some other small verifications like Qualys. Mm-hmm. I did that one and then did like the, the FISMO one. I think you recommended is like that, like the guideline one. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, those are good. Um, what's it called? It, it augments my course well, like especially the Google one, because there's so many yeah. like, fundamentals in there, and it kind of you know covers those gaps of knowledge or whatever. Um, yeah, so it really does. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that's very cool. Um, so, not necessarily like related to my course or, or anything like this. Just as somebody who um, was able to change their career like pretty quickly. Do you have like any advice for anyone watching who might want to follow in the same footsteps, whether it's like IT or cybersecurity, just like general advice for them? Um, I would say definitely, definitely get a certification, whether that's security plus or like another like big name one, mm-hmm. having that on your resume is something that's going to get you through HR mm-hmm. and just get you in the interview, you know, because that's like, that's the end goal, you know, get you at interviews and get the job reluctantly you know mm. and uh i would say honestly like and also having a portfolio like whether it's through your course or if they go out and make their own because i think besides that security plus certification for myself having that portfolio was another big thing that just showcases a lot of skills because like you know to like to you it just looks like a project but like to an employer it shows like what you're capable of and like mm. all the skills and technologies you possess and it shows promise of like what you could learn if you were to be trained by them. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, mm. did you show your portfolio so, in the in your? Oh, you did a face to face interview, right? So you probably didn't like. Yes. Show, show well, so it's funny. So, so the, I had two interviews, right? And so the first one I did uh, virtual, and because it was also like three hours away from where I was at, mm-hmm. but they weren't offering me as much as where I am now, and so I was just like, I'm like, do I really want to drive for something they can't really like? pay me for you know mm. and so we switched to virtual and they said it was fine and they asked me a lot more in-depth questions about my project than where i ended up oh, like nice. in my inter- like in my where i'm at now during that interview like the first question was about my project 
and like they later just asked me they're like tell me about your project and i gave them like a very like dense answer to like you know keep time mm-hmm. like decent and like that was it like that's all i wanted to know mm-hmm. and so i was like I'm like okay cool <laughs> that's cool and do you mind if i show your portfolio like on the the screen to yeah okay. yeah yeah i think they might find that interesting <laughs> yeah for sure but yeah, um, yeah, that's very cool. I think this is going to help people a lot and give them perspective on some stuff they can do and like maybe emulate what you did and you know have yeah. some have some luck. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, that's all I had. Do you have any any final like thoughts or anything you want to say before we wrap things up? Um, yeah, I'd say if you're definitely like in the grind session right now, all I can say is to just keep grinding, like. Like, even if it gets hard or you get burnt out, like, just keep going and, like, you'll get it. Like, I promise. Like, it, like it's bound to happen. Yeah, so, I yeah. agree with that. Just keep moving in the right yeah. direction. It's not like you're going to get worse, yeah. right, and have a less of a yeah, chance. Yeah, you, you can't ever, like, small progress is better than nothing, you know? Yeah. Like, even if it's just, like, you watch one YouTube video, like, that just propels you somewhere a little further than where you were yesterday, you know? Yeah, exactly. That was a great advice. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Cool. cool. Yeah, thanks so much. I really appreciate it again. Um, definitely going to help people. But yeah, thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me.